the bias could have entered in either directly because they're looking for data sets that, for example, are designed to produce LLMs that will not say racial slurs, that will not, that exclude racist content, that do things like that, and that those tra training sets are left coded. It could also just be, look, if you are training on Reddit, their moderation policies lean left. And you're not trying to get a left-leaning result. It's just that the moderators, are, that's the content that you're getting, right? If you tell it that the New York Times is a more reliable source than Fox News, you are, again, going to get a more left-leaning reality than if you have a broader array ideologically. Um, so that's one place it could have entered. The second place is, you know, they then get human testers in who reward certain things and say no. And the way, again, the way you do with your toddler. <laughs> yes, you can do that. No, you can do that. Over and over and over again. Just the way you do with your toddler. And either in the instructions you give those workers or in the workers themselves, you can introduce biases, right? What, who do those workers look like? And I will say that um, if you read the paper that Google put out on Gemini, um, they say they they looked for um, diversity in gender presentation and age and race and ethnicity. What did they not mention? Religion, social class, uh, ideological diversity, politics, nothing like that. Well, if you are selecting on things that especially with like gender presentation are going to code left, you could just inadvertently end up in the spot. But you could also give them instructions that are designed to avoid um, angering the, so one thing I think that we should keep in mind is that there is a structural, that the, the right people complaining about this, there is a structural incentive to avoid making the left angry, which is the left has a big infrastructure of disinformation specialists and academic experts and so forth 